We just had a tenant get killed during an eviction in Cleveland, right? It's making the rounds. It's all over the news. Man dies after Cleveland Housing Court bailiff shot him during eviction. Sources say evictions are dangerous. Evictions are tough. I tell you guys this all the time. Let's jump into the story and unpack what happened. Welcome to the Tenants from Hell show, folks. I am James Wise, and I am here to pull back the curtain on real estate investing, on property management. That's what I do. Now, this story is making the rounds, right? I got a bad tenant, right? Bad seed here, okay? This guy didn't pay rent. Uh, then the landlord went through the process to evict him, and he tried to attack the bailiffs during the eviction. They shot and killed the guy, right? So we're going to unpack the story, right? So first thing, we got to get out of the way. This is not a Holton Wise eviction. I don't need any crazy liberal magazines out there trying to slander my name saying I shot this guy or something. I absolutely did not shoot this guy. Uh, we don't have any uh, business with this apartment building. So uh, the information that I have, I'm going to be providing you guys with some context based on what is making the rounds and give you guys some insight into what happened, what went wrong, what can be done differently, things of that nature, right? So the main headline from one of these uh, newspaper articles, and I'm going to link to all the articles under the show notes, all the places uh, I got the information. I'll link that. I'll cite my sources. That's what I do here, okay? So man dies after Cleveland Housing Court bailiff shot him during an eviction, sources say. Uh, man fatally shot by bailiff during eviction in Cleveland, all right? Cleveland officials say a man has been fatally shot by a Cleveland housing court bailiff during an attempted eviction. Real quick. Uh, so I know out there uh, a lot of you guys may not be familiar with eviction, so I'll be walking you through the entire process of how evictions are. In Cleveland, we utilize the bailiffs, right? Some places utilize the sheriff, et cetera, et cetera, right? So a bailiff looks like a cop, acts like a cop. You try to attack him, he will shoot the fuck out of you very much like a cop, as this fella found out, okay? But uh, they're technically bailiffs in Cleveland. When you go to an eviction in Cleveland, what it is, it's the property management company, and they're accompanied by the bailiffs, and they're accompanied by a completely separate third-party moving company. The moving company, they're the people who actually uh, take the tenant's belongings and throw them into the onto the tree lawn, uh, during the eviction process. That is not the landlord. That is not the landlord's property manager. The landlord and the property manager are not legally allowed to touch any of the tenant's belongings. Only, only uh, the court-approved moving company, okay? So if you watch a lot of the live evictions on Holton Wise TV that we do, you'll see all of these characters at play during all of the evictions. You see the folks that look like cops? Those are not actually police officers, though. Those are actually bailiffs, but they look very much like cops. They are armed like cops. Then you'll see all the Holton Wise crew members also armed, because as you can tell, evictions are very dangerous. And then you'll also see uh, ununiformed fellas. Those are going to be your court-appointed movers, okay? And when you go to these properties, very often, if the tenant's not there answering the door, guns come out, man. They absolutely come out, all right? A news release says the man was shot around noon Thursday, and he died at a hospital. Officials say two bailiffs knocked on a door at an apartment building on Cleveland's west side and that no one answered, okay? I've been on scene during these evictions, folks. They knock on the door. The guns are usually holstered. Knock, knock, knock. Bailiff! Bailiff! All right? They'll be screaming, right? This is eviction day. When you get evicted, folks... You know when eviction day is for between usually 14 and 21 days, depending on how long uh, the judge gives you for move out day when uh, you're at court getting your writ of restitution. OK, so, you know, when this day is. So it's not like you're like, oh, damn, dude, eviction day was today. Motherfucker, you've known about this for a while. Right. So 
most tenants, after you go to court, you win the eviction, you get the writ of restitution, most tenants that are being evicted will move out before eviction day. Why? Because eviction day is horrible. Eviction day sucks. Again, I have various live eviction videos on Holton Wise TV. Uh, you have two choices, right? After you've been evicted, you have that window, right? Let's call it 14 days. Usually it's 14 days. So if you're a tenant, you have that 14 days to move all of your items out gently yourself or you do nothing, and then a bunch of dudes with guns show up at your house and throw all your crap in the middle of the street, basically, right? It's on the tree lawn, but you get what I'm saying. And guess what? There's guys whose entire business, there's people who make a living. They feed their families. What do they do? They just follow the bailiffs around on eviction day, and after everything gets thrown on the, the tree lawn, they just steal all the stuff and resell it. That's like how some people make their living, okay? So most people will move all of their stuff out before this day, and then when you get to the property, it's typically vacant, right? It's typically vacant. The movers don't have to do anything, although, of course, landlords, we still have to pay them because they showed up, and then your property manager uh, will change the locks. You now have possession of the property. Done deal. But sometimes... You get tenants that stay there. They act surprised, and well, they're usually very unhappy. And it's a very stressful and uh, dangerous situation. Hence, why everybody is armed, right? It's dangerous. So when you bang on the door, the bailiffs are banging on the door. When tenants are there, you know, if they're being calm, they will answer the door, hey, 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 and it's okay. But if nobody answers, these guys, they, they get ready. They get the guns ready because you never know what's on the other side of that door. It's a person who's about to be thrown out of their home violently, essentially, right? Uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a rough situation. So these guys have to take care of themselves, right? They got to protect themselves. They got to make sure they go home to their families, right? So this dude does not answer the door. So I'm sure at that point the guns got drawn. And uh, let's see where I left off. So officials say two bailiffs knocked on a door at an apartment building on Cleveland's west side and that no one answered. They then enlisted the help of a maintenance worker to get inside. <laughs> now, this is wild, right? And uh, we actually have a video on Holton Wise TV talking about the first time myself and my business partner, John Holton, did an eviction. And, you know, folks, like I've been through a lot of evictions now. We, we understand the process. So it's like it's just like par for the course. But the very first time this ever happened, it was shocking, right? So. He's up there, uh, and he's going to be the one to drill the locks, right? So we're ba the bailiffs are banging on the door, and uh, nobody's there. They don't answer, right? So uh, what they do, they don't just, like, kick the door, okay? They usually will change the locks. If you don't have keys, you just drill out the locks, right? You just drill through the lock, et cetera, et cetera, right? So he's doing that. The bailiffs are behind him with their guns at the door in case somebody jumps out at the door, right? So I'm sure that's what's happening here, right? So you got the maintenance worker who is probably drilling out the locks, the deadbolt, on this door while a bunch of bailiffs are standing behind him, guns drawn, basically, you know, at the back of the guy's head, right? So very stressful situation. Then officials say the man opened the door and assaulted the bailiffs and workers with a blunt object, prompting one of the bailiffs to shoot him. The man's identity has not been released, all right? And it's, you know, it's all over the place, right? It's, you see this Fox 8, Cleveland.com, all kinds of things. Again, I will put all of the, the actual news stories in the notes under this. Officials have not released the man's identity or the names of the bailiffs involved in the shooting. Shooting happened at 1130 a.m. Madison Park apartment building on West 96. Yeah, uh, Madison Ave in the city's Cadell neighborhood. At Holton Wise, we have freaking hundreds of units over here, right? It's like a, you know mid-range area, right? You got, uh, on my ultimate guide, I would grade this as a C neighborhood, right? You got probably a decent mix of cash-paying tenants who are on the lower income side and a lot of Section 8 type tenants, all right? The bailiffs, along with a maintenance worker from the building, attempted to enter the man's apartment to evict him. The man burst through the door and hit the maintenance employee and one of the bailiffs with a blunt object believed to be a baseball bat, right? You see why everyone has guns? You're trying to get in there. You have uh, court order to go ahead and take the property back. This man has been stealing it from the landlord for months. So, you know, now it's eviction day, but everybody's, uh, you know, everybody's got a heightened level of uh, 
anxiety because it could be very dangerous, right? You're just trying to do what you've been legally told you can do, and the son of a bitch runs out there with a fucking bat swinging at everybody. Of course they're going to pop off some rounds, man. One of the bales fired at least one shot that hit the man in the head. An ambulance took the man to Metro Health where he died. Yeah, that'll happen when you get shot in the head. A woman who lives inside the building, Lisa White Lavender, said she saw housing court bailiffs outside the apartment for about two hours before they went inside. She said it sounded like the bailiffs were trying to open a door with what sounded like a power drill, right? As I said earlier, that's what happens, right? The maintenance guy is drilling through the lock, okay? And you might be thinking, why did you just have the maintenance guy unlock it? Folks, this is a situation where sometimes these people are barricading themselves in. It's very common for the tenants in situations like this to just change the locks. I would have assume, I would assume that the maintenance guy that went there with all these bailiffs probably brought the keys, okay? I'm sure he's smart enough to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and guess the keys no longer work because the tenant changed the deadbolt, Okay. He was probably prepared for a fight. That's why he's standing out there behind the door with his uh, baseball bat. But I'm um, guessing he didn't expect it to end this way, right? So that's why it took quite a bit of time uh, for them to get in there, all right? And uh, White Lavender said she did not know the man, but that he had been living there about six months after landlords initially, uh, initially tried getting him to leave the building. Uh, and then they just talk about more in the article about how the uh, – uh, eviction moratorium uh, has ended, right? And then you get, you know, just stuff like that where they try to vilify the landlord like it's the landlord's fault, right? Madison apartment owners posted an eviction notice on the man's door less than a week after on September 1st, according to housing records. The building's manager filed for eviction in housing court on September 8th. Owner said the man had failed to pay his $560 per month rent since April, right? So as I write, uh, talk to you on this show right now, it's April, so April 2021. Let me see. April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, right? Ten months, right? So this guy had been stealing from this landlord for ten months, right? So then people want to go and vilify the landlord like, oh, my God, you're throwing him out of the house. You're making him homeless. Then you kill the guy. Well, first of all, uh, you know, obviously I have not been privy to the police investigation that's ongoing, but it appears the bailiffs acted very much in self-defense, number one. Number two, the guy had been stealing from the landlord for 10 months. He knew this day was coming, okay? And uh, then when he had, they actually go there, he tries to assault them. You could kill somebody with a baseball bat, right? So we get a lot of the liberals out there that are crazy, and they like to vilify landlords, which never makes any sense to me. Like, people ask me constantly. Like, I've had people like, man, how do you sleep at night doing what you do? Motherfucker, I sleep just fine. I sleep like a fucking baby. Why would I feel bad about doing what I do? What are you talking about? Here's the deal, folks. The rent's got to get paid. This rent didn't get paid for 10 months. So there's two people here. And I have, uh, like, no relationship with either of them, right? You got the owner and you got the tenant. Why is the owner vilified as the bad guy? This tenant has been stealing from him for 10 months. So I like to see uh, people not steal from each other, not commit crimes against each other. What did this property owner do? This guy just stole from him for 10 months, right? So somebody's illegal bad behavior had to end, okay, that day. I'm sorry he got shot. Like, obviously, nobody's like, yay, he got shot. But they had to shoot him in self-defense because he tried uh, to kill them, essentially, with a bat, right? So uh, you get all the uh, folks out there that are like, ah, Ah, landlords are evil. They're evil. They're making people homeless. Ten months, folks. That's what they never tell you. They never tell you that this guy's been stealing from this dude for ten months. And nobody loves doing evictions. They are dangerous. Yeah, we got the merchandise, the I Love Evictions merchandise, because we love to see theft stop, right? There's two people involved in every eviction, the landlord and the tenant. Why the landlord gets vilified, I never know. Nobody, like, wants to do evictions. As you can see, they're dangerous, right? This is one of a my crew out there, look, I mean, we got guns, right? There's another gun. Like, every time we go do these, we have guns. So I never understood uh, all of the liberal backlash over stories like this and how people would want to then go and, and vilify these landlords, right? Landlords didn't do anything wrong, folks. Ten months. Somebody's got to pay the rent. Somebody's got to pay the rent. So if you're out there 
and you're one of these people that are like, landlords are evil, landlords are wrong, I'm a Marxist, this or that. Bro, we don't need to hear it. Nobody likes evictions. And you know what? Landlords don't either. And I guarantee you, if the tenant wasn't stealing from them, they would not evict the tenant, right? So if you're out there in internet land or wherever you are, you're running your fucking mouth about how landlords are evil and you can't believe they would do that, I have a solution for you, folks. I opened up a charity, okay, to help stop evictions, right? If you would like to prevent evictions from happening, you think that this tenant who'd been stealing from this landlord for 10 months straight is the good guy here, even though he's been stealing from him for 10 months, and then he tried to kill innocent bailiffs and the innocent uh, maintenance man with a baseball bat when they stopped him <laughs> from stealing. If you are thinking that he's actually the good guy and you want to stop evictions, well, go ahead, folks. Go to HoltonWise.com and go to my charity you can stop as many evictions as you want, right? See all these people, landlords are evil. How could you evict people in the winter? How could you evict people coming out of COVID? Well, why don't you go ahead and stop it? For $100, you could get this here shirt, get a nice fancy shirt. It says I spent $100 to fight evictions. Obviously, as you guys are aware, it does not cost $100 to produce a shirt. You go ahead and buy that $100 shirt. portion of the proceeds are going to go to stop an eviction because here's the deal. Evictions only get stopped if the rent gets paid. The rent has to be paid. So whether the rent is paid by the tenant or it's paid by the property owner who's paying for that person to live. Somebody has to pay the rent. You can't just expect random property owners to pay for people's living expenses because they choose not to do it, right? If you think that there should be some type of government help, I would agree with you. There absolutely should, but just forcing some random person to pay for someone else's livelihood doesn't make sense. So if you are one of those person who's enraged by my eviction videos or the things we do here on Holton Wise TV or enraged by the, the fact that this man was being evicted and you want to do something uh, to actually help and just quit crying like a whiny bitch on your iPhone, feel free to use the resources I've put out there for you to donate and help stop an eviction today. Because if I see anybody out there in internet land crying and whining about evictions, my first question to you is going to be, oh, how many of these shirts did you buy? How many evictions did you stop today? And if the answer is none or zero, you're going to need to shut the fuck up. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.